Hey, did you ever wonder, how did Adam decide to name all the animals? Well, Savannah, she asked, why did Adam call a horse a horse? Hey, that's a really good question, actually. And the answer, I think, um, can be found in the Bible. In Genesis chapter 2, verses 19 and 20, it says this, Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all wild animals and all the birds of the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. So the men gave names to all the livestock, the birds in the sky, and the wild animals. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. Isn't it interesting that here's a passage talking about Adam naming all of the animals. And it ends with the line of this, but, but for Adam, no suitable helper was found. When you take a closer look at this passage, it was obvious that, yeah, Adam did have a part in naming the animals. He had a job. God gave that to him as an opportunity. It's really cool. But God was doing something in these verses for his own purpose. He was doing something to show Adam that for Adam, there was no partner for him. And that God was going to be the one to meet that need for Adam. So verses 21 through 25 go on then to explain that God gave Adam a partner named Eve, a partner suitable to fit him. Adam watched this parade of animals walking by and noticed that there was male and there was female, but for him, there was no partner. God wanted to show Adam by naming the animals, by helping God name the animals, he gave Adam an example to see he needed a partner too. So even though Adam might have been a part of classifying the animal with classifying all the animals with names, really, God had control in that process. And that process was for Adam's good. So what about the word horse itself? The first mention of the word horse in the Bible is found in Genesis 47, verse 17. That's talking about that time in Egypt when Joseph was in charge and there was a famine in the land. And it says the people brought in their livestock, brought in their cows and their horses to trade in for food from Joseph. Just like God had predicted that famine came and Joseph accepted as trade animals like horses to give people the food they needed to make it through the famine. The Hebrew word for horse is sus, sus. And that word and throughout the scripture, throughout the Old Testament especially, was used to describe horses as animals especially used for war. Uh, maybe in a cavalry or maybe for an army of chariots like Pharaoh's army that was washed into the Red Sea. When they were washed in, his chariots were washed along with them and the horses with them as well. So horses in the Bible itself are mentioned and brought up and talked about, but we don't see exactly how Adam picked that name or whether Adam picked that name, but maybe God had chosen what horses would be called. And not to mention, we're not even really sure what language Adam spoke at that time, but we know for a fact that horse in the word in the Hebrew was sus. And that that's what actually Old Testament believers would have referred to horses as, Seuss. Hope that helps you learn something a little bit about the Bible and about how we got the names for some of our animals.